of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN is advocating for better transparency and accountability as it will result in improved governance in Nigeria. The president of ICANN in the center of Kwosa, who stayed this uh, on the sidelines of a presidential dinner organized in Izana by the Lagos and District Society, said since 2017, the Institute has developed a framework to check the level of accountability in the management of public finance, as Justice Akandoye brings details in this report. Dignitaries from within the Lagos and District Society of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, gathered to host their 59th president. It is also time to inaugurate the new excos of the FBN chapter. This is clearly demonstrated in the vast and constantly growing community of chartered accountants on our staff list, at least 250 active financial members of the Institute throughout Nigeria. The further first chairman of the Lagos and District Society, Tony Biola Salami, welcomes all present. She reflects on the journey so far, while restating the district's steadfast commitment to inspire the next generation of accountants. We have remained steadfast in our commitment to excellence. Notably, an initiative such as the Catch Them Young program was also held in November, which hosted over 200 students. While chartered members of the noble profession wine and dine, issues affecting accountancy globally take center stage at the interactive session. In a chat with the ICANN president, he is quick to share insight on transparency and accountability in the public finance space. And what we have discovered is that the level of um, accountability and transparency is low for some states. Some states are taking the bottom five lowest performing states. And uh, we have uh, been advocating for this better transparency because we believe that when there is better transparency and accountability, then there is an improved governance because the various arms of government will be able to state what these funds are used for and how the funds impact on the life of the citizens. The Association of Chartered Certified Accountants and the Institute of Management Accountants Global Economic Confidence Survey shows declining confidence among accountants globally for the third consecutive quarter in the fourth quarter of 2023, consistent with a further moderation in global growth. What is being done to drive confidence in young people to the profession and what does the future hold for the industry? As a district, every year uh, we have all these programs that we uh, carry out during the year. One of them is the Catch Them Young program where we go to schools within our catchment area. We visit them, we give books, we give presents, we do quizzes. We try to encourage them to become accountants. Um, this year alone, we had one in November, and we intend to have another one on the 28th of February. And all this is all done with sponsors and people who come together just to encourage our young ones to become accountants. So what has happened in the profession is that uh, globally, especially in the Western world, uh, the profession is no longer attracting the young ones. And of course, you know where you don't have young ones, the tendency is that the profession is going to go, get into extinction. But in, uh, in ICANN, which is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, we have a program targeted at the young ones. We call it Catch Them Young program. And because of that our program, we have been able to attract young ones to the profession. Awards are presented to outstanding members of the district for exceptional service and dedication. <laughs> Justin Akadone. Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.